Hey basketball enthusiasts, ever wondered if the NBA draft was once rigged? Stick around because today we're delving deep into the intriguing world of the frozen envelope NBA draft lottery conspiracy. Welcome back, folks. We're uncovering a mystery behind one of the most talked about conspiracy theories in NBA history, the frozen envelope controversy of the 1985 NBA draft. Let's dive into the details. The birth of suspicion. In the early days of the NBA draft lottery, the main aim was crystal clear, make things fair and square. But hold on, here comes the plot twist. Whispers of conspiracy started during the rounds. Imagine this, critics were side-eyeing the league, thinking they might be pulling strings behind the scenes to give a little nudge to their favorite teams. And guess which draft sent shockwaves through the basketball world? Yep, you got it, the 1985 draft. It was like a magnet drawing everyone's gaze and sparking debates left and right. Can you believe it? The league's simple fairness mission took a detour into the land of suspicions and speculations. Now that's a game changer. Frozen envelope allegations. Right in the heart of this NBA drama is the claim that an envelope holding the fate of the New York Knicks in the draft was put on ice, metaphorically speaking. Imagine this envelope as the golden ticket, and inside it, the Knicks logo signaling they would snag the numero uno pick. Now the critics are up in arms, saying it wasn't just a chill move, it was a strategic play. Why? Well, the theory goes that this icy maneuver was all about securing Patrick Ewing, the basketball gem everyone wanted, for the Knicks. So let's break it down. The controversy zooms in on the alleged freezing of that crucial envelope, making it the epicenter of debates and speculations. The Knicks, poised to be the lucky first pick, triggered suspicions of a predetermined outcome. It's like they say, where there's smoke, there's fire, and in this case, where there's a frozen envelope, there's a whole lot of conspiracy talk. Critics are waving the red flag, suggesting that Ewing's destiny in the Big Apple might not have been a lucky draw, but a well-played hand. Patrick Ewing's impact. Patrick Ewing steps onto the scene and bam. The whole league feels the shift. We're talking about a game changer here. His arrival in the NBA wasn't just a slam dunk, it was seismic. Now imagine this. Rumors swirling about the 1985 draft being a tad fishy. Allegedly rigged, they say. Did this controversy play puppeteer to Ewing's fate and the league's destiny? Ewing, the towering force, lands in the hands of a struggling team in the Big Apple. The Knicks hit the jackpot, or did they? Fast forward, and the conspiracy buzz is still buzzing. Did this rigged draft script a legendary career for Ewing? Or was it just a twist in the plot? But here's the kicker. The alleged rigging didn't guarantee the Knicks a championship. Irony at its best, right? The 13th player picked, whoops, turned out to be the real game changer. David Stern's perspective. Back in the day, ex-NBA commissioner David Stern was in the hot seat, facing accusations like a pro. When the whispers of foul play in the league's processes surfaced, Stern wasn't having any of it. He stood his ground, waving the fairness flag high and declaring the system was as transparent as it gets. Imagine this. Stern vehemently denying any shady business, assuring everyone that the NBA draft game was played on a level playing field. Now enter the skeptics, always ready with a bag of doubt. They weren't completely sold on Stern's assurances. While he said the game was clean, they were there with a raised eyebrow, questioning if his words were the real deal or just another part of the game's strategy. It's like a classic showdown. Stern defending the league's integrity, skeptics throwing shade. In the world of NBA controversies, this chapter adds a layer of drama, leaving fans and critics to decide who had the slam dunk argument. Voices from the past. NBA back in the 85 era, we're talking to the people who were right there in the midst of it all. So, what's the word on the street regarding the alleged conspiracy? You've got first-hand accounts, interviews, and testimonies lined up. Imagine sitting down with those who dribbled on the same courts and officiated those nail-biting games. What's fascinating is that these are the voices that paint the picture of what really went down during the controversial 1985 NBA draft. Some players spill the beans, insiders share their behind-the-scenes tidbits, and officials have their say. Did they witness any shady dealings with the draft lottery, or do they think it's all just a hoopla? We're digging deep into their memories and getting their unfiltered take on the whole conspiracy saga. No fancy jargon here, just the raw and real perspectives of those who've had a courtside seat to one of the most talked-about moments in NBA past. It's like grabbing a virtual coffee with these basketball legends and insiders, swapping stories and unraveling the mystery that still lingers from that unforgettable draft. Public speculation and theories. All right, buckle up for the NBA conspiracy roller coaster. Picture this. The 1985 draft controversy didn't just raise eyebrows, it unleashed a torrent of wild theories. One camp thinks the league had its fingers crossed for a Knicks dream team, desperate for some serious competition on the court. 
On the flip side, there's the strategic mastermind theory. Some believe the whole draft hoopla was a chess move to skyrocket TV ratings. Now, imagine the public's imagination as a runaway train, racing full speed into the realm of what-ifs and maybes. So here's the deal, the controversy didn't just stop at a simple disagreement. It birthed legends with concocting theories left and right. Was it a basketball master plan or just a ratings game? The debate was hotter than a courtside seat at a nail-biting game. As the theories flew, the public's imagination went on a joyride, turning a simple draft into a blockbuster plot that had everyone playing detective. Legacy of the Conspiracy Theory A blast from the NBA past that refuses to fade away. The Frozen Envelope Conspiracy Theory It's like a basketball world's favorite bedtime tale that keeps getting passed down from generation to generation. Even decades later, hoop enthusiasts can't get enough of the drama that unfolded during the 1985 NBA Draft Lottery. The Frozen Envelope Saga isn't just a tale. It's a cornerstone in the NBA's history, shaping its landscape in ways unimaginable. Believers in this conspiracy claim that Commissioner David Stern played puppet master orchestrating the draft lottery to favor the New York Knicks. The alleged magic trick? Freezing an envelope, a move that supposedly ensured the Knicks landed the golden boy Patrick Ewing. This controversy isn't your run-of-the-mill sports gossip, it's etched into the leagues. It's the stuff debates are made of fueling conversations at barbershops, sports bars, and beyond. The frozen envelope theory is more than a what-if scenario, it's a mark left on the NBA's history, a reminder that sometimes the line between sports and spectacle blurs, leaving fans forever questioning the integrity of that fateful draft night. Alright, let's tackle the ultimate NBA mystery. The 1985 draft. Was it a setup or a cosmic alignment of basketball fate? Enter the frozen envelope conspiracy, a puzzle that keeps NBA aficionados on the edge. This lingering debate has turned into a hoops enigma sprinkled with more questions than concrete answers. Was there a grand scheme or mere chance? The frozen envelope saga continues to be the league's riddle, captivating fans with its elusive nature and ensuring that even decades later, the 85 draft remains a topic that shoots more questions than baskets. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into NBA history. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more intriguing sports content, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, this is signing off.